so you guys want to hear a crazy story. I was going to my hospital to see my doctors for my doctor's appointment. And I showed up early. This is at Virginia Mason in Seattle, just so you know. So I showed up early and I went to the cafeteria and I got some lunch. I ate my lunch and then I went out of the hospital. I'd already checked in. I had that little green sticker on my bottle. And so I went across the street where the car garage is, where the cars come in. And I went up this little sidewalk with a handicap railing that I always use to get up. And then I sat right where I always sit in front of this like bike rack with a locked fence behind me and a car lot with the hospital right there in front. Virginia Mason Hospital, remember that. And so I saw a security guard pull into like the car garage and um, he waved over to me because I had my headphones on and he's like, take off your headphones. And then I was like, no. And then he's like, something about masks. So I thought he was talking about masks or something. So I held up my water bottle that I was drinking out of with the sticker saying I was a patient that day, you know, for the COVID check-in. I was taking a drink of that and I figured he saw the sticker and saw I'm a relatively normal looking guy in a wheelchair, look handicapped. And so he left. I went back to watching my YouTube video. And a little while later, there's two security guards came walking up. One of them stood in front of me. And I'm on like this little sidewalk hill with a handicap railing that goes down and a fence right, right behind me. So I couldn't go nowhere behind me. I'm railing right here and sidewalk. One of the guards walks in front of me. He was the same one that motioned over to me. And I'm thinking, what the fuck, you know? And then the other one's like walking, trying, going straight behind me. And I'm thinking, what? What's going on here, you know? What the hell? And so, I don't even, it's kind of happened so fast. It's like a blur, this quick moment here because all I remember and all that really transpired was the security guard instantly went behind me and there's a fence so there's no room behind me because it's just me in my wheelchair and he started pushing the back of like my neck like right here and pushing me down and the back of my wheelchair hard as he physically could, hard. but I had the brakes on my wheelchair, so I wasn't going forward, and besides, there's a guy in front of me, a security guard, I already got this security guard behind me, physically assaulting the back of my neck with full force, and remember, I have surgery just back here, so as soon as you touch my neck, I instantly, I freak, you know, like, what the... In pure shock, I'm sure the security guard in front of me is probably just like, what the heck? And so, he's just pushing hard as he can. He's going, I'm going, dude, I have ALS. I have a spinal cord injury. You're hurting me. You're breaking my wheelchair. What are you doing? He said, I don't care. You're moving. And I don't remember if he was cussing or not, but he was very, very demanding, wow, already physically forcing me down, pushing the back of my wheelchair and the back of my neck. And I couldn't go forward because the brakes are on my wheelchair. I couldn't explain what was going on. I'm trying to tell him I'm a patient here. I have an appointment, but I can't even lift my arms. I can't see behind me because my neck only has so much range of motion as far as I can turn it. And this dude's behind me, physically attacking me. I'm like, what the hell? 
These are Virginia Mason security guards now, okay? At the hospital where I'm supposed to be safe, going to see my doctor. <laughs> I have an appointment. I'm, I mean, I'm sitting there watching YouTube, waiting to go to my appointment with my doctor. And now I'm being physically attacked by the security guard where it hurts. I'm scared. I'm like stunned. Like, and then he pushed for a long time. I'm still in pain to this day. My muscles are spasming. I had to call my doctor and get a prescription of baclofen filled because the spasms are just off the Richter's right now because I'm so highly sensitive in my spine from that surgery and everything going on with my reflexes and so on. So for my body to be like that for so long and so scared and all the pain and everything, it just, it was too much for someone in my situation. And so as if all that wasn't bad enough, the whole time he's telling me physical threats that he doesn't care about my well-being he doesn't care about my wheelchair he doesn't care about my spinal cord injury he doesn't care about ALS and my appointment not he didn't care he was moving me that's all he cared to physically and so anyways after he did all that then he finally gave up because he couldn't get me to move because the brakes on my wheelchair. So I couldn't move. It wouldn't move. Only my neck and the back of my wheelchair. Which I think he bent it. He was pushing so hard. I've been looking at it all day like it feels bent because he was like he was a big dude, you know, like I used to be. And then he ripped my backpack away and I have that shoulder problem, that shoulder instability. So he was pulling the backpack away from me and you know, it's far, it's far, I can't lift my arms. And so he's pulling, pulling, my shoulders getting wrenched and I was just ripping it. And he ripped it out of my hands. He broke my light off of it. And then he took my backpack. So now he has my backpack with my ID, my money, my pain medications I need at this point because I'm in pain now. I was just sitting there because I just ate lunch at the cafeteria in Virginia Mason Hospital where all this happened by their security. And I had my bottle saying I was going to go back in for my appointment. And so, anyways, after that, then, um, so now he has my backpack with all my stuff, all my personal belongings after he physically assaulted me. So I called 911. Well, I'm on the phone with 911. He's verbally assaulting me, saying all kinds of threats that I'm gonna be arrested. If I call the police, that I'm gonna get arrested. Now remember, I've broken no laws, none, <laughs> not one. Like nothing, sitting there, sitting there with ALS. Oh, sorry. So anyways, um, finally, after <clears throat> I was being assaulted the whole time, calling 911, and I tried to stay on the phone with 911 because I had just been attacked by two security guards that I thought were there to protect me, who were now attacking me. So I was like really scared and I can't defend myself. So it made it even more scary. I was in pain, made it even more scary. He had my personal possessions, made it even more scary. I mean, it's just starting, I'm getting scared. 911 finally said, I'm gonna have to hang up, Mr. Hutchins, cause I gotta help other people. I can't stay on the phone, the police will be coming. So he hangs up on me and I'm like, oh fuck, now I'm alone with these, fuck, these guys that just attacked me and they have my stuff. So I'm thinking, this sucks. And I'm waiting and waiting, and he's verbally assaulting me the whole time I'm waiting, telling me that when, if I file charges or whatever, then I'm gonna be arrested, and this and that, and that I'm in the wrong, and I'm just like, whoa, dude, you've got anger, anger problems. And so, anyways, um, after that, I finally got the courage, because they had, he'd realized I think at this point that he'd screwed up 
He had attacked a disabled person that had an appointment. I'm screaming the whole time he's attacking me. I'm screaming at the, t at the top of my lungs, somebody please help me. Call the police, please call the police. I have ALS, I have a spinal cord injury. He's assaulting me, please somebody help me. And he's just the whole time pushing. Didn't care at all. I was screaming the whole time. And so, I mean, it takes a lot to get me to scream like that. I'm not like a little, you know, I used to be a strong guy. I think I am in my mind sometimes, but my body's not. And so, finally, when he was over talking to his friend, I rolled down the hill real fast and I grabbed my bag real quick. And then I just kept going straight into the hospital. I never looked back because I was scared. So I had to go all the way down the sidewalk, I crossed the street and the crosswalk, and I went straight into the hospital. And I went to tell uh, patient relations. The hospital didn't care at all. So I filed assault charges. I hope the DA presses charges on this guy because he does not need to be working at a Virginia Mason hospital around disabled people. I mean, I'm obviously disabled. He's a big, strong guy. Clearly can over for, out force me in every way. So, I mean, it was clear I was at a disadvantage in every aspect. And he took full advantage of it and did not care at all. Hospital so far hasn't cared at all. That's why I'm making this video. I haven't posted it yet, but Virginia Mason, think about this one for a while my mom's upset my sister's upset my apartment manager's upset my caregiver's upset i'm upset i'm in pain my primary care doctor i told her right after the assault i had to go to my doctor's appointment at virginia mason where i was assaulted by their security guard with them my appointment I told my primary care doctor, she made note of it in my medical records, so it's in there, that this Virginia Mason security guard assaulted me for not taking off my headphones. That's not good. So, I don't know, what's gonna happen? I, I felt really, really violated. I felt scared, I felt embarrassed, I felt in pain. I've never hurt anyone in my life, so I've never, and to be disabled and have all this, my life is really hard. I mean, it's not, I can't even lift my arms, dude. My legs, I can't walk, I can hard talking, I have no volume. And then to assault someone like me, who's obviously disabled, you know, a hospital where I'm supposed to feel safe Virginia Mason okay I'm gonna go